JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, war in Rosetown began over missing gun. Gunman threatens to kill all the males in the family. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A bereaved Rosetown family is living in fear as they grieve the murder of their loved one as the alleged killers reportedly threatened to kill all the remaining males in that household. 20-year-old Romain Atkinson was killed in front of his family members on Christmas Day, starting what has been days of terror for relatives. Everybody does a try, because we're still under threat from the same gunman we kill him. The same gunman that kill him, sent threat to we, that he might go burn we out and more kill out all of the man them not the family. The relatives said yesterday, saying that the frightened family had nowhere else to go. We in fear of life, but we have to stay, the woman said. Atkinson, who was known as a community chef, died while preparing a meal with friends last Friday. Them couldn't manage the pot, so them asked him to take off this pot. Me heard the shot, man run off, me look round. I said that I him them a kill me freeze and couldn't believe. Me stand up and watch them kill him, a resident said. Atkinson's family said that his two-year-old daughter had to be relocated. The ongoing violence in the space is a community-based war which began over a missing firearm. Residents say the factions knew each other very well. It's a rural stone war. Everybody was friend for true and them just split apart. I know everybody in the war still, but you know it go, one woman said. About three hours before Atkinson's death, 24-year-old German Mort, otherwise called Boy Boy of Spanish Stone Road Address, was killed in Rose Town. Residents believe both homicides are connected. The bloodshed and killing spilled over into Boxing Day when a dancer from the community was killed. The cops have since named a number of persons of interest in the case. They are Preston Zazu Evan, Dennis Ginseng Mondel, a man known as Taliban, another known as Ozil, and Ojingo Duaney. The men are being asked to turn themselves in to the Denham Town Criminal Investigations Branch immediately. They have also beefed up their presence in the area since the killings, leading to the seizure of two firearms. The police say about 7 a.m. on Saturday, they heard explosions while on patrol in the area and saw a group of armed men who they engaged. A single-action 9mm pistol with two rounds and a Glock 27 pistol loaded with 8.40 cartridges were seized during the incident. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.